Whoa, look at those chonky trees down there. Excuse you. You have no right to be this thick. God damn. Oh, here it is. Right off the edge. How do I get down there safely? It ain't safe. It ain't safe. Can I, like, <laughs> like go and re-grab? <gasps> Up! Oh, I guess I can just jump. <laughs> I don't have to go the... <laughs> the slow way. That works. Cool. Oh, ah, dame. Is there any cool lore to the names of these shrines that anybody's documented online anywhere? Has anybody heard anything about the shrine names? Any, like, cool cultural tie-in that's worth looking into? I guess you do get monster parts from killing enemies, and the monster parts do get you stuff later on. Not the best stuff, but there is some stuff. Wait, there's a hidden experience system? I did not know of this. Oh, I think the they are anagrams of the developers' names. I think I have heard that before. If that's the case, that's really cool. Good idea to make the developers feel like they have a, a portion of themselves threaded into the fabric of this game. Even if it is just an anagram of their name. DJ French Fry, thank you so much for that. Hell yeah. Four months, baby. We got the stasis. Oh, I cannot wait to see what upgrades the Sheikah Slate has in Breath of the Wild 2. Gonna be so much fun. All right, here we go. All about the timing. Gotta go fast, fast. All right, let's make sure we're not flattened into a linky pancake. Whoa! Oh no! It was still reloading. <laughs> I just got a major concussion. So it allows the weapons to get modifiers and turn basic bacos from red to blue and such. I didn't know the game like had modifiers like that. I kind of th I thought the game was just it got more difficult as you got into it naturally. It was like you got further into the overworld. But I guess you're the the method you're talking about right now makes more sense technically. Now that I like think about it. Because, yeah, since you can go, like, anywhere you want in the overworld at any time, it would definitely make a lot more sense. For there to be, like, a hidden experience system in the background that levels you up, so you fight harder enemies as you keep going. Go, 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 go. Whew. A wee bit terrifying, I, I might say. A traveler shield. Come on, these hidden... These special chests need to be giving me something better than what I can find killing basic enemies. This this iron sledgehammer is better, and it was just sitting out in the open. Although I think that's for this puzzle right here. Oh, nope, gotta use the sledge. Oh, did I not pick it up? It was it was full. Get rid of that. Bye. And that was still enough. One hit for my claymore was enough to get rid of the ball, though. And I'll probably just skip this animation. Even though it looks, I mean, I guess you can't skip that portion. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Thank you for the orb. Orb, 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 or
Ooh, very fancy. This is the first time I've noticed that they sit in different stances. I wonder how many different stance options they have. Right? Walking out of the shrine on a nice brisk morning. Let's freeze this rock. Oh no, it's covering the chest. Don't worry, little guy. I'll save you. Get this big bully rock off of him. Are you okay? I am tired of these crappy, non-exciting rewards. I shall tell you what. Good evening, please accept my lurk. I do accept any and all stream lurkers, as this is a really good background game. I felt like Breath of the Wild was a really good game for me to stream more, to just have like, you know, a chill game to stream. I'm a bit more focused at the moment since we're at the very beginning of the game, but as we get further in, it's just gonna be a great game to put on and play and just talk about life. I have a lot of life I wanna talk about, but I'm just too, too entranced by Link's great personality. See more of the spiciness. I had spicy chicken fried rice from a Taiwanese restaurant right before the stream and I was only able to eat half and I can't wait for a few hours once I'm hungry again and I get to finish my leftovers. The best feeling. You screwed up your gungeon run? That's so sad. Not the gungeon run. I thought that was the one. I thought you had it. These guys chasing me right now? Are you kidding? You know who you're up against? He threw a snowball at me. I'm not here for fun and games, little guy. I'm here for bitches and hoes. Should I go to the very top of the mountain? I think that, no, this is feeling a bit, oh, <gasps> shooting star. Is that a shooting star I see? A feeling of ecstasy? Oh, yeah, there's the shrine down there. Oh, I'm gonna go pick that up. I probably can, right? I'm about to get the, the paraglider. Am I gonna get myself stuck up here? Whoa! I was not expecting him up here. <laughs> the fierce cold atop these mountains can take quite a toll as the night sets in. <laughs> B -b 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 breathtaking view, boy. This may be the best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Use your scope to look for shrines. When you locate one, place a pin at your mark. Wait, I, I've already found all the shrines. Mm. Oh, you mean the ones even further out? You did well to make it this far without the proper clothing. <laughs> Please take this warm doublet as a reward for your tenacity. Oh, he, he gave it to me anyways? Mm -hmm. I thought you might be eager to see how it looks. It's quite fetching. Well, I suppose it matters not. It is yours now. Do take care to put it on before you get too cold, though. Does he give me the pants if I make him the, the outfit? <laughs> how much does that help with cold resistance? Because my timer's still going down. Can I do something with this rock? <laughs> Why he's always on edge. Oh, just some amber, I guess. This is a weird looking rock, though. Go ahead and mark some of these shrines. I see one down here. And... Can I see any more from up here? the main one I see. Oh look, another Korok circle. I'll come back to that though, whenever I'm doing the Koroks. I'm gonna be dodgy with the Koroks for the moment. I'll come back and do like the Great Plateau Koroks like soon. I'm not gonna like beat the game and then come back and do the Koroks. 
but I'm not gonna do it at this exact moment. I wanna make sure I have a list first so I don't miss any of them. You really gotta be organized if you wanna get all the Koroks. You don't have to be, it'll just take a lot longer, I'm, I'm assuming. There's no pants to correspond with the warm doublet. I guess, I guess that's fine. These khaki pants match with it really well. Once our cold resistance timer goes down, are we gonna take cold damage or is the, is the doublet enough? Is a doublet a real article of clothing? Like I've never even heard of a doublet before. Oh, wait, should I shoot the TNT shoot? Bam, right in the face. That's what I'm talking about. Did he just go to sleep? Uh, sir, you cannot be sleeping at a time. <laughs> I almost killed him and he took a nap. I mean, maybe he was just in pain. Maybe that was a pain nap. He probably fainted or something from all the third degree burns on his body. Am I pronouncing it right? Double it? Double it? Double it? Double it? <laughs> What's that sound? Oh, it was that little guy. He ain't good. Ouch! Namut. Kinamut. Sure, sure. Let's go ahead and go in. Another trial? Is it a 30 day trial? If so, let me know and I'll really put all my time into it. Oh, I see the guy right up there. He starts right above me. I have to say, authenticating the Sheikah Slate is not the most fun thing to do whenever you replay the game. It doesn't take that much time to do, but it still takes a little bit too much to where you're like, okay, just get on with it. Just give me my runes and let's go. We got the snowflake. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a long time? Cut out paper snowflakes. I used to love cutting out paper snowflakes. It was so magical. You just like fold up the piece of paper you make lots of weird little snippets and you unfold it and voila, you have a magical snowflake. Magic. Which is why I called it the magical snowflake. Is that how I want to go about doing this? I'll just shoot him in the face. Where's the, I think the treasure chest is up here. I want to go this way first. Peter totter It's a simple machine. Oh, I forgot. This is dumb. Both, both sides take you to the same place. Oh, there's the treasure chest. How do I get over there? Oh, easy. Can't even believe I had to rhetorically ask that question. I should think before I speak. My inventory. I hate when the inventory is full. Yeah, I guess I don't need two axes. I'm gonna axe the axe. Eh. You're cut. How has he done it? He's little tall is so smart. His brain is so big. I don't know how he does it. The big brain energy. As someone who's never played a Zelda game, where should I start? Also, good to see you back, Tyler. Yo, Shad, um, I would say the best place to start? Ocarina of Time? Either version is a good place to start, I would say. Either Ocarina of Time or Breath of the Wilds. I'd say those are two of the most, like, beginner-friendly Zelda games. But they both give you very different experiences at the same time. Yo, Queen Beck, thank you for the 100 bits. You lost the game, but do you know how not to lose again to sub to Attacking Toucans with Twitch Prime? I agree. If, if you have a Twitch Prime, you should subscribe to Attacking Toucans. Thank you for the little, the promo. <laughs> thank you for paying me to promote me. That is the nicest thing anybody has ever done for me. 
Whoa, this is beautiful. Look at that sunset. The old man is here to look at it with me. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Oh, extraordinary. That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first, but first what? Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. He wants me to look at line sex? I don't want to look at line sex, dude. Where the lines cross? That's inappropriate. Okay. Should I go for this chest right here? I feel like I'm gonna die in the process if I do. Why is this lake all sparkly? Is there a reason for the spark? Does that just mean it's freezing cold or something? Oh, get out of there. Don't, don't be doing that. We made it. Oh no. I pushed it off the platform. It's sad as day. No, don't do it again. Okay, at least open it before it falls off. Um, I think we can go ahead and teleport off. Let's go back to... Let's see, where do they intersect? Right there. They intersect on the Temple of Time. Very cool. We're going to the Sheikah Tower. For 2D games, I think the Link's Awakening remake would probably be a good starting point. Is, are 2D Zelda games a good starting point for new fans or for new people to play the series? Like, they are a bit more simple, I guess. It just depends on what type of gamer people are, I guess, and like what they look for with the fun gaming experience. Because I feel like some people would play a 2D game and be like less interested like from the very get-go just because it's 2D. But I feel like if you're here watching me play this, you probably wouldn't be one of those types of people. How come you can't blow up this rock? That always has bothered me. All right. Clomp. Clomp. Clomp, clomp. That's my new favorite onomatopoeia. Clomp. All right. Oh, look at the cattails. Look, nature's corn dogs. I love nature's corn dogs. Yo, I've been eating some Korean corn dogs the past couple weeks. I've been a little bit addicted. They're like, they're kind of like regular corn dogs, but the breading on the outside is different. I had a sweet potato corn dog yesterday. On the inside, it was half hot dog, half uh, mozzarella cheese. Very delicioso. I would recommend though. Good experience. Definitely more of a 3D person. I would say Breath of the... Uh, I would say Ocarina of Time is a good starting point. If you've never played Ocarina of Time, I've never experienced it, it's a great experience. Like, I feel like Ocarina of Time all the way through was one of those gaming experiences that everybody needs to experience at least once. Just so they have like a base foundation of one of the most iconic and history making games ever created. You know what I mean? I feel like in the future, once video games are recognized more for how amazing they are instead of like reprimanded by higher levels of authority, I think in schools they should have kids play certain games. Like, you know how we're forced to read certain books and stuff like that? And I think kids should have to play some certain games so they can have like a basic foundation of certain levels of world culture. I think it's important. Wouldn't it be freaking awesome if you went to school and like the teacher just like plays Ocarina of Time for you and commentates it and teaches you the game as like a fourth grader? That'd be freaking awesome. Oh, look at the goddess statue. She's so happy. She's so happy. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I offer you great power and responsibility. 
let's go for... I feel like heart container is a good thing to start off with. Especially since I've been dying so much. Yeah, I have seen that schools let kids play Minecraft, which I think is a good idea. I think Minecraft can teach you a lot. And I have also seen there's an educational version of Minecraft. I've never played it, but I know it exists. All right, Quattro Hearts. Now it's our duty to go and bring Whoa. peace. Look at the statues like little minions. We have the big angel statue and then all her little minions. Whoa, the blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. <laughs> here I am, get up here quickly. This old man's trying to kill us. How does he want us to get on the roof? Excuse? Keep on searching. Let's get these ancient screws. We're gonna need them. Oh, of course. There's a random ladder on the outside. I would say another good reason Ocarina of Time is good is it's it's fairly simple. It doesn't take too much brain power. It's not overcomplicated. It's a good, just refined experience. Breath of the Wild is really simple, but it's also really complex at the same time. It's hard to describe. Like, like, like Link is way more complex to control in this game. The combat is way more detailed, which is why people love this game so much. It's way more sandboxy. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. Not voice acting. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> He was the monarch. Whoa! He's elegant. The He's great, got calamity great taste. was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. <laughs> I did Pijama not think ghost. it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. So he disguised himself as a hobo. You are now ready. <laughs> ready to Great hear disguise. One hundred years ago. One hundy. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom. But his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. This game shows this picture way too much. But there is also <laughs> I'm gonna say that right now. Prophecy. Who's that bitch on the left hand side with the long hair? The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the that power. Is that what Link and Zelda go to look for in the trailer for Breath of the Wild 2? Several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines. Oh yeah, the divine beasts. We also Which one are we gonna do first? That's the main question. An army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight. Oh, was that Zelda? Is that who that's supposed to be? <laughs> that's so funny. It was funny. they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. 
With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. I like how this is the, the first princess, time you get introduction to the Knight, champions. And the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. But nay. Ganon was he turned into a horse. He responded with a plan beyond our imagining. This is terrifying. He goes and possesses all of the guardians. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle. I would have shit myself if I was one of these Hylians. And the divine beasts turned them against us. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight bravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was scene. devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. I wish we could have seen a cutscene like that in Ocarina of Time, showing However, the market being destroyed. The princess survived that would have been really cool. To face Ganon alone. It's also cool to just imagine, though. Link, you are our final hope. Does she sacrifice the herself? The of Hyrule rests with you. It do seem that way. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. She, that's, that's deep. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. I and like that he's not surprised at all by this information. You were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. Just listening with the, the stoic expression. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. Wait, so is she alive? However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering Damn, that, that I could not save that an arbitrary time limit people, before the end of the world. no right to ask this of you, Link. I don't like the pressure. I can't handle it. Oh no, not the Arthur him. meme. Arthur Finch Clist me. Finch, her, fuck. My daughter, Arthur Fist Clinch meme. Do whatever it takes King to Rome. annihilate Ganon. Somehow. Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. Let's go, Kakariko. There you will find the elder. Do I listen path. to him or do I take she my own route? She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. You know, I, I'm not a huge fan there, of his follow voice. Follow the road as it proceeds. It's not north. bad, but it's not good either. It's like a bit too fancy sounding almost. Hmm. Go on. Here's the paraglider, just as I promised. Give me that, give me that, wait, wait. The best item in the game. And quite possibly one of the best Zelda items ever. I love the paraglider. You should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. <laughs> I've told you everything I can. He has a really cool shirt underneath his robe. And it's gone. That's all we can see. Destroy Ganon, that's the new objective. I'm here for it, baby. And seek out info. You know, I would ask if I should try to rush Hyrule Castle right now, but I know for a fact I would die, like, near instantly. I am not good enough to try to be one of those Zelda players, you know? <laughs> I know my limitations. Let's drop some of these crappy bows. I don't want the Baco bows. Give me this one. Soldier's bow. 
14 attack damage. All right, let's walk the plank. Wait, there's something on top of this building, isn't there? Oh no, I'm on the wrong side. Let's try that again. I think there might be a Korok on the very top. I feel like this would be a good place to put one, right? Can I climb up this in the first place? Yeah, Link can climb up anything. He's Spider-Man. Oh yeah, there is. There is the Korok sparkling all the way up here. These views. Oh, he has the autumn face. Bye-bye. How do I how do I get down from here? Can I jump? Oh, ah! okay, we're jumping. More like falling. We're doing something. That's all I know. Oh dang, I guess where where am I supposed to go from here? Do I wanna go to Kakariko Village? I can honestly go to any area I want. I could just cross the bridge and go. That would kind of take me over to the Zora's Domain area. You know, I'll kind of stick to just like the, the path the king set out for me. And I'll head over to Kakariko Village first. I think that's a good area, honestly, to head first and to unlock. And just like kind of have it accessible. Even though you can head anywhere you want in this game, I feel like it is a little bit more fun to follow the path they have laid out for you. Nintendo Switch shirt. What's up with this fourth wall breaking out here? Just because I paid for DLC doesn't mean I wanted wall breaking. I paid a lot for these walls. What's the fourth wall? It's the fourth wall. It's the wall that comes after the third wall. Where's the... The, the Twin Peaks, they're that direction. We'll head that way, but I'm gonna hit these ruins up first. I have a feeling we can find some better weapons around here, maybe. I feel free. Like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I'm gonna break all the stuff open. Collecting apples, officially. Whoa, I find a lot of arrows. That's like the number one reason I like exploring is because I'm hopeful that I'm always gonna find some arrows. Originally, if you sold the Switch shirt, you couldn't get it back, but they fixed that in an update. That's some cool little trivia. That's my favorite thing to see in chat, is interesting trivia about random stuff for the game that I'm playing. Wait, can I can I get this one out? Can. <laughs> God, that that was so satisfying. Yep. Just plucked it out of the ground like a Pikmin. Oh, Amber's back. Looking more beautiful than ever. We love Amber. Amber's such a sweet girl. Such a sweet ore. so good to break stuff as Link. That's what he does best. More stuff inside this house. How good is this sword? Rusty claim or that? Damn, I really need to upgrade. Maybe I should. <laughs> it, it might be a good idea to quite possibly look for some more Korok seeds at the moment, just so I can get a couple upgrades to my inventory space because it is tiny right now. Another bow. Good thing I dropped all those Baco bows. No, we got it. Gotta be using the axe. I don't think the axe breaks from breaking open other wood objects since it's 
literally made to cut wood. This is the ideal item to use to, to break all this random stuff around here. Someone flipped that table. There was an idea to have cows around Hyrule that would sometimes be abducted by UFOs. Oh my god, there's so much weird stuff that has been in other Zelda games that they could easily put into Breath of the Wild too, and I really hope they do. Ow, sir! No, he deserves, he deserves the rusty claymore. This bitch getting tetanus. Oh! That hurt! No shield for you! Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, I can't believe that broke. At least he died. Yeah, we got some bacoblin guts. <laughs> Read the book in the ruins. Did I miss a book somewhere? There was a book in here? Oh, there was. What happened here? I hid the eight priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle in treasure chests. I shall write down their locations. The ancient mask lies at the ruins where soldiers gathered. Should I write this stuff down? I have a pencil and paper, so I can write this down. And at the ruins where the soldiers of Hyrule gathered. Okay, that's pretty much the same thing. X is all that's written on the last page. What could it mean? What does this EX stand for extra content? Okay, so that does get written down up here. But the fact that I wrote it down will help me remember it better. Just because writing stuff down helps your own memory. So, I have it twice and hopefully I'll remember where all those things are. Or hopefully I can find them at least. It stands for extra. Okay. That makes sense. Extra content. Like I said, I haven't really done any of the DLC in the game, so I'm pretty excited to experience this. How do you guys feel about the DLC being marked as DLC? It almost seems like it'd be kind of more fun to play the game and not be told that certain things are DLC, so it just feels like natural content to the game instead of feeling like extra content. I feel like I wish I, I wish I could turn it off. But at the same time, maybe it's good to know, so you like know what's extra and what's base game. I do feel like it slightly ruins the immersion. Just a little bit though. I think the chests that say EX on them ruin the immersion more though. At least when it's like in a subtitle on the menu, that makes a bit more sense because menus already kind of like break break your immersion a little bit. But when it's on the chest, that's just too far, homie. I'm gonna climb this mountain right here. And yes, I'm aware that I'm about to be streaming Breath of the Wild a lot over this next year. But I feel like this is the perfect game for me to be streaming, honestly. I should be streaming this game more. People love this game. And I honestly feel like Breath of the Wild and Breath of the Wild 2 are going to be the games that really help my channel grow in the future. Because that's the game that people are going to look up, especially the sequel, which is why I need to get more acquainted with the first one now. So once the sequel comes out, I will be ready to play it immediately. I can hopefully get on that hype. The hype train for Breath of the Wild 2. Okay, Korok seed. Cute little guy. Oh no, I hit him with a rock. I made him say, yeah. 
Okay, let's head to... I think I see a shrine down here. I do. What is this rock for? Am I supposed to push this? Is this another Korok seed? No, it's okay. I'll write these down. It's not gonna... It's not gonna matter that I do these slightly out of order. Like I said, I want to get probably like seven or so. That way I can upgrade my inventory slots all a couple times. Is this another one? There's so many around here. Can I do it first try? Oh no. Second try? Oh, heck yeah. I like their shading. It's pretty neat. Korok poop. Here we go. <laughs> I just wanna use this. Bosh Kala. You hope in the sequel you can play a Zelda or Link? I have a really big suspicion that in the sequel we'll be able to play as multiple characters. Just because we were able to in Age of Calamity, and it feels like they would like continue using all those character models they built for another game. At least I would hope they would. That seems like the smartest opinion. Not the smartest opinion, but it sounds like the best option, I guess, for like some really cool gameplay variety. I do agree, marking the DLC makes it more easy to tell what you paid for if you're playing the game a second time. All right, I think this is gonna, this is the wind trial. We're in the wind's temple right now. The wind guides you. Follow the wind. And the omens. The windy omens. Age of Calamity was farmed out though. Age of Calamity was made by a different company in collaboration with Nintendo actually. I think the Nintendo team did all the cutscenes and all of that stuff uh, because they pretty much used the same game engine from Breath of the Wild is what it seems like anyways. So Nintendo probably has access to all the assets that were created for Age of Calamity. They could probably use it if they wanted to. Is this where the other treasure? There is another treasure chest, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, right over here. Can I reach this from here? Oh, duck, dude! Freaking duck! I think I was supposed to... Am I supposed to jump from up here? Is this a high enough vantage point? That should work, right? Yeah, baby. Oh, that's a real good weapon. Oh, inventory! Stop being full all the time. I want to keep all my stuff. I like all of it. I guess I don't need the Korok leaf. Even though the Korok leaf is really cool. How do I drop it, though? Give me what I came for. Do you guys want Divine Beasts to be involved in the next game? Oh, was I supposed to jump from up here to get to that chest? I know. This goes back. Why would you want to go back? Oh no, I did not. Ah. I am just being way too hasty. Oh, I almost died. That is scary. I need a potion. Oh my God, guys. New little tall music comes out in an hour, less than an hour. 
I cannot wait to see new Lil Tall music on the streaming service next to Lonely Road. Another interesting thing is I have a clean version of the album coming out tonight as well. There's Hylian Bangers for Hoes, and then the clean version is just called Hylian Bangers. I feel like it would be good to give an option for clean versions in case people wanted to play them in areas where they can only play clean music. So technically it's gonna add six songs to the catalog. Although three duplicates of each. All right, another spear. Oh, that filled up my heart. Oh, look at his pose. He's like frustrated. He's like resting his hand on his head and has his hand like in a weird spot. Is every single monk sitting in a different position? Okay, that one was super easy. Why am I getting side quest announcements right now? Proxim Bridge. What are all these? What? What is all this other? What are all these? <laughs> Who are you people? The monks had 100 years to work on all their poses. <laughs> That's why they're so perfect. You get the DLC, you get the DLC stuff once you hit the first area outside the plateau. Oh. Well, oh, there you go. They tell you where to find the books for the other sets of armor. Were those all just book? Wait, Xenoblade Chronicles too. Oh, that's the southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. Oh, he's talking about the shooting stars. We saw the first one. Oh, these are all talking about journals. Wow, there's a lot of journals to find. I'm excited to play. I cannot wait to play this game, guys. Like, I am so fucking pumped. Brigo, I may be someone used to seeing bad omens by now. But that, well, let's just say it's better than most. Hmm? We're doomed. I mean... Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started growing up. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here! Aw, oh, damn. He believes in the end of times. He's a sensationalist. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Are we gonna gaslight him? What thing? <laughs> I'm talking about that guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? Have you not heard them? See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturned urn? That is what I'm talking about. Oh. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This exact one here? No, it was a different one. Look at me asking stupid questions. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that one was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst, but I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Ha, I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Why did I think this guy, oh, is he the one that like gets really scared if you jump off the bridge? <laughs> hey, don't be rash. You won't change the world by jumping carelessly to your doom, don't you know? <laughs> Is he from Alaska? That would only do one thing, and that's... Huh. Drive me batty! Seriously, think of the shock I'd suffer seeing something like that. Ah. You're fine. Just don't be careless. There are too many enjoyable things in the world to gamble with your life. Damn, the whole pep talk. I'll scare him. <laughs> Just give him a heart attack. Oh, he was caring for me though. He tried to talk me off the ledge. 
What a friend. Okay. I think this is where I'm going to end the game tonight. I just wanted to get through that one little cutscene so I could save. But we got off the platform. I'm happy about it. I'm going to go spend some time with my friend. Because he has a lot of stuff that I want to talk to him about. I'm going to head off for the night. Go stream the new album, Highly and Bangers for Hoes. Let's run those numbers up. I hope people are enjoying the lyric video. I'm excited to see people's reaction to it. You guys are freaking awesome. Love you. Thank you for coming to the stream. Stay awesome, too, clan. Peace. I'm out in the wild, holding it down like I am the gravity. Hold it down. I'm reading the land of all of the beasts, and damn, are they mad at me? Damn, are they mad? I'm saving the citizens from the calamity. It is insanity. Restore and balance to all of humanity. Losing my motherfucking sanity.